Doesn't it feel like July just like flew by? Did we get July? <laughs> I think they skipped July. So this is our July wrap up video for what we have read in July. I do have to say that this is the first month that I used the written journal to help me keep track of like my thoughts on my books and I really do like using it. I actually little added a little tab so I know where August is and of course Marshall is purely digital so he does everything on his tablet anyway. Definitely. We're weird like that. Total amount of pages, 6,175. That's a pretty good amount for me, I think. I read 10 ebooks, four physical books, and four audiobooks. 10 of them were review books, three of them were personal, and five of them were for book club because of Reading Rush. So I did one book and then the other four were Reading Rush books. So I actually did end up reading everything for Reading Rush except for Bunny, which I didn't finish, but that was okay because The Hate You Give fell under a lot of other prompts. So I will be talking about that a little bit later. I have 3,953 pages, six audiobooks, three graphic novels, three ebooks, and one physical book that was really awkward to carry when it started raining. I need a book cover. Um, yeah, I had a shirt. And we're gonna go from DNF on up to five star, and when we get to five star, we'll tell you a little bit about our most favorite five star books. Do you ever DNF books? I have not. No, I have not DNF. He is not. The one star review is when I go, I'm just not gonna review this, because <laughs> I don't wanna be a bad person. For me, uh, I DNF'd The Last Wife, The Safe Place, The House Party, they all start with the and Bunny. <laughs> Mostly because none of them really captured my attention within the first couple chapters and I was just like, you know what, I got too many other books for this, can't do it. My three stars were The City of Ashes, Happiness Will Follow. Oh, my three stars were Size Zero, The Shadows, Jar of Hearts, The Child Across the Street, and his and hers. My four stars were Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, Horror Store, Beneath the Sugar Sky, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Sundown Motel, Teen Titans, Beast Boy, Life-Changing Manga of Tidying Up. My four star reads were The Air Affair, uh, The Sundown Hotel, Dear Emmy Blue, Mayhem, The Life-Changing Manga of Tidying Up, The Hate You Give, Beneath the Sugar Sky, more Than Maybe, Curvy Girls Can't Date Quarterbacks, and This Is My America. I do want to say that the two, the four books that I read for Reading Rush, two of them were four stars, and that was The Hate You Give and The Life Changing Manga of Tidying Up. Two prompts each, like I did, yeah, I did quite a few on that one. Five stars. Home Before Dark. Uh, basically like about a haunted house where a girl goes back to the house after her dad has died. She has inherited the house and she wants to know what really happened. Is it at all different from what her father has wrote about in his book about the haunted house? And this was a fantastic read. I've heard a couple of people say that they feel like it's an overhyped book. For us, I don't believe it was. So yeah, it an, was great. An easy summary is Return to Amityville Horror. No exit which we've also both read. This girl who uh, is on her way to go visit her mother and she finds a kidnapped child at a rest stop and then things go horribly wrong for everyone and a window becomes totally. the biggest plot point. The Guest List. This is the one that I had in a physical book and it's so very smartly written in that it is a, a murder mystery done from multiple perspectives including one perspective that's kind of an omniscient narrator that is not any of the characters' viewpoints, mm -hmm. and it's in the present. It definitely keeps you guessing and doesn't give you everything immediately when you want it, but it gives you clues in every single chapter that you need to pay attention to. Exactly. The Mall by Megan McCaffrey. One of the first books that I've had in a long time that's just about being happy. Like, it's just a happy story. And I have heard no one else talking about this. I read it two months ago and I was like, you know what, this might be something that you'll like. There's kind of a mystery element to it, but it's all about the 90s and the mm -hmm. mall and and it's just so, it's fun and it, and it like, it's not heavy. It weighs you down and by the time you're done with it, you're just like, wow, that was just so nice and cute and I, and it wasn't like, yeah. it didn't talk down to you at all. Like, like, are you a young adult? 
even though this is, might be kind of a young adult yeah. book, it didn't talk down to the reader. It just kept it on the level of, you know, this is a really great story. And I just do not think people are talking enough about this book. If you like, I mean, granted, it's not a thriller, but it is so cute. As soon as I finished reading this book, I, I texted Lainey, I'm like, so Netflix when? <laughs> Yeah, it should be a next Because this movie. really does belong on Netflix. Well, you have already seen the other two that I gave five stars to. My other five star is Truly Devious, which Marshall is going to read this month. Truly Devious is the story of a girl. And it kind of tells in the, the past and the present, but she goes to this school that basically pinpoints special people for different reasons that are like not always like the most logical. But her whole like view of going to school is to find out what happened to the owner's family. His wife and daughter were kidnapped. They found the wife's body, but they don't know where the daughter is. The daughter never showed up. So here she is like 20, 25 years later. I don't know how many, how much time. And her goal is to solve this murder. And while she's there, stuff, other stuff happens to the students at the school that she must also solve. So it, it kind of goes, there are three books in the series, but Truly Devious, I thought, it was, I thought it was great. I'm so glad that I finally picked it up and read it, and I'm reading the second one this month, so I'm, you'll probably end up reading that too, I think. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, that is all of our books for July. Pretty awesome. We did it. Yeah. We did it. We did quite a bit there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment down below what you read in July because maybe we'll have some good recommendations from that as well. Yep. But until next time, stay handy. Bye bye.